you know, in Spanish, just cuando pierdes tu lengua, pierdes tu patria. You lose your country when you lose your tongue. And right now, being Latino is very popular. It's like in style. It's in vogue right now. And I feel like everyone's claiming their heritage and I'm a Latino and I'm this, but you don't speak a lick of Spanish. So there's always a huge disconnect when wow. you go back to Latin America and you try to claim and rescue your roots and get back to that place that obviously is very important to you that you want to discover and figure out more about. But somewhere along the way, you lost your, your, your language. Mm -hmm. So you've lost one of the most intimate parts of getting to know that part of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it's, it's endemic with a lot of generational Latinos because what ends up happening is that you get first generation or, or uh, Latinos or like, you know, the parents uh, immigrated and then they want to simulate. So one of the ways to do that is to not have your kids viewed as immigrants. Mm -hmm. So that's why Spanish isn't taught a lot of homes for, from certain generations, because the parents wanted to separate themselves wow. and, and raise American kids as opposed to Mexican kids or wherever. So that has changed now because now everybody wants to kind of rescue their roots. And now you have first generation Latinos really all about that. But I kept it with my Spanish. And the way is because my mom only spoke Spanish at home. And, you know, I was constantly going back and visiting with family when we only spoke Spanish. And then now I've kept up with it because I have friends that I speak in Spanish with every day. Mm -hmm. I keep up with it. I have, I've worked in kitchens my whole life. So what the hell do you think we're speaking in kitchens? You know, Spanish. Yeah. So it's like all of that has helped. Uh, me have that connectivity and how, how it also uh, influences uh, the entrepreneur side of me is that I've gotten so many opportunities to do business because I've kept up with my Spanish. Wow. So if a brand solicits me, for instance, and they say, okay, Bounty, they want me to do a campaign with Bounty and then we'll come and say, okay, I'll do it for this, but I need Spanish. We'll do the same, uh, we'll do the same marketing campaign in Spanish so I get paid twice. Mm -hmm. Once in English and once in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's how important it is because you're literally leaving money and you're leaving opportunities on the table just because you didn't keep up with your Spanish. Hey.